let's talk about how to use styling products and your hair system. Welcome to the channel guys, welcome to the hair experience. I encourage your guide to get popping, banging, beautiful, luxurious. Nah, it's being stupid. <laughs> to help you get hair back on your head. <laughs> it's just that simple. Hairbymhe.com, hairbymhe.com is where you can get supplies, styling products, um, hair itself, eBooks, starter kits. Everything you need is on that website. Use that coupon code MHE20 to save 20% off of your stock hair replacement. MyHairExperience.com has got a lot of FAQs, information, tutorials, uh, the YouTube videos obviously and things like that. Check that out as well, myhairexperience.com. We're talking about styling products today. You guys know that I released um, our own product, and this has absolutely nothing to do with just our own product at all. What I'm talking about is styling products and hair replacement together. Um, first and foremost, you have to be super careful with what you put in a hair replacement. And you're gonna say, Curtis, why does it matter? It ma you have to think about this from a, a construction standpoint. So if you've got a lace-based unit, that hair is knotted onto that lace-based unit with a knot, either a single or a double knot, depending on how it's constructed, who it comes from, etc. And those knots, if they get a product on them, waxes or oils, things like that, can cause that knot to break down and the hair to shed. That's something that's super important. So you really wanna stick with water-based products that do not contain any heavy oils or any beeswax. So I've told you guys I've used Pacino's in the past. You can buy that at Target. Uh, Pacino's cream and matte worked well for me. Um, I have used, on a poly, I have used American Crew Pomade but we had a failure with an American Crew product on a lace. Um, so you just gotta, you have to tread lightly. That's why I engineered our products because I tested them for, for over three months to make sure that they would not cause unit failure based on the ingredients. And we changed a couple of the ingredients that were in a base product to make sure that it wouldn't affect a poly or a lace unit. So first, that's out of the way, okay? Now that we've established that, you wanna make sure you use good products. Try to stay away from things with alcohol. Alcohol is drying on the hair, and we don't really need to wash our hair all that often. So stay away from things with alcohol in them. You really wanna look at the ingredients and make sure that the first thing on that ingredients list is water, or agua, or however they wanna list it on here. Why, that's what you want as a water-based product so it will rinse well when you rinse your hair in the shower and not necessarily wash your hair. You want most of this stuff to rinse away. Now we'll talk about, we'll talk about using a styling product and showering. So, and then we'll go into the application of the styling products and things like that. We're gonna do a full thing here for that. So. If you use, if you wash your hair, say Monday, okay, and you wash it with shampoo and you conditioned it, um, that is the day that you're going to use a styling product. So you'll use the styling product on Monday, and I'm going to do a demonstration on how much and how to do it, but I don't, I don't want, I don't want my hands moving around the whole time being all nasty. But you'll use it that day, and then you probably won't have to use it again for like two or maybe three days. So keep that in mind. Styling products are not required to do your hair every day. Like today, I didn't use any styling, I didn't use any of, this is what I use as our mid-hold pomade. I didn't use any of it today. I was able to just rinse it this morning in the shower, comb it, or blow dry it, comb it, and hit it with some hairspray, of our hairspray. Um, you don't want product buildup. The thing is, I got some on my teeth. Um, the thing is, all of the products that are in styling products, for instance, are not all going to rinse out. So what you run into is you run into a product buildup over time, and it can make the hair look matted, greasy, heavy, won't style. Um, it just really sucks when you, when you overdo product. 
So you really won't need much at all or any at all most days. Okay, now we've established that. Don't use it every day. What I do use every day is my hairspray. So literally, it's probably about a 1001, 1002, done. 1001, 1002, done. Okay, you got two seconds and you're moving the hairspray around. Okay, and then you're finished. And then if you got a couple of little flyaways, you can kind of move those around and tighten those up and then you're complete. Now that we've established that, now we'll go to the application of most styling products. Now this is going to be a little bit more MHE oriented for our styling products, but a majority of pomades, creams, you know, things like that are going to be applied in the same way. Most have directions, but I just wanted you guys to understand what is real when it comes to size and things like that. So <clears throat> what you're going to do when you get a brand new bottle, it'll look like this. And when I say get a little bit, a little goes a long way. It's ridiculous how far the product goes. Now, I can't speak to every product out there. I know when we were kids, we used to squirt that gel in our hands and it looked like this or mousse and it just was so much product. It's not like that anymore, guys. That's why a two ounce bottle is going to last you for probably six months or if not longer. So good value for money. But anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to get some on your finger, okay? And you're probably going to get about this amount. Okay, it's not a whole lot. It's not even the covering the end of my hand. Okay, and that's kind of a wrong finger to be using. <laughs> Whoops, that wasn't the point. That was just a finger that ended up in there. So you're going to get about that much. You're going to put it into the palm of your hand, okay? And then you're going to what is called emulsify. You want to get the product warm. I'm not a chemist or a uh, whatever person to make this kind of product. So... You just want the product warm and you want it laid out. So what you'll do is you'll put it in your hand, okay? You'll get all of it off your finger and then you'll, you'll move it like this. You're gonna get the product warm. As you can see, my hands are shiny. And then you will go to putting it in your hair. You're not gonna really do this thick finger into the hair up kind of pattern, okay? You can, I wouldn't. I just typically put it, depending on how I'm doing it, my hands stay flat. They're not doing this get it into the hair kind of thing. So I've, I've dried my hair, I've done this, and then what I do is my hair is kind of all over the place at that point. So I'll go in a downward fashion, okay? I'll go like this, make sure I get it a majority off of my hands. That was the whole point is to put the product in the hair. Um, and then I will um, do that. And then I might hit it with my hair dryer for another minute or two just to make sure that it's gonna do what I want it to do. Now the hair at this point is about 90, 90, 95% dry. Um, you've put this in and then you've done it. That's really all there is to it. Once you've done that, two seconds with hairspray and then you're good to go. That's really all there is to using a styling product and most of them are going to want you to, to emulsify them and get them warm and then apply them to the hair because if you get all clumpy and nasty and just it's really only going to go in one spot and that's not what we're looking to do. So I hope that instruction helps you guys. It's not just for my product. Like I said before, it's for probably 90% of the products out there on the market that want you to, to emulsify the product and get it mobile in your hands. That's what I got today, guys. Now I got shiny hands. So uh, that's what I got today, guys. Subscribe below. It is super important to me. Hit that thumbs up button. Whammo if you like my content. And uh, any questions, let me know. And we'll see you in a couple of days. Thanks.